You can celebrate the artistry and culinary innovation of Austin and Mexico tomorrow during Mexicarte's annual Taste of Mexico. The event is put on to support the museum's art education program and celebrate with food, music, and more. Tierra Newbaum is live in South Austin with the details. Good morning, Tierra. Good morning, Casey. This is a community favorite event, and it hasn't been put on since 2019, so it's back this year. Jose, what's going to be happening tomorrow night? So tomorrow night we're going to be hosting over 30 uh, local restaurants, food vendors, food trucks as well, and we're going to be having our um, annual Taste of Mexico, which is typically a culinary, like, um, eclectic menu for to showcase a lot of the local uh, Mexican chefs and food trucks and restaurants that are in Austin which are many and we're gonna be aside from being a culinary event um, it's also a fundraiser for our education programs and so I don't know if um, a lot of your viewers know, but the Mexico Arte Museum has been in downtown Austin for 38 years, and so it's also a nonprofit, and uh, we we use a lot of events such as Taste of Mexico to uh, fund our education outreach programs because as the communities get pushed out further, it's the education that really helps uh, our outreach programs that helps us keep in touch with uh, the community that we're trying to serve as well. Most definitely, and you know, this is a lot of fun. It's food, it's drink, it's music. Mm -hmm. But like you said, it's really all to raise money for the students. Yeah. What are some of those student programs that you guys offer? So we have two outreach programs. One of them is called Screen It, which we hire uh, local practicing printmakers to teach kids how to create their own um, screen printed designs and how screen printing works more or less as a trade and as an art form. But also our new program funded by Office of Violence Prevention, uh, it's called Amarte, and that one's more like a luxury program where we get like really um, call them master artists who have uh, a rapport of um, being in galleries and museums and we take them to schools and we design like custom workshops. Uh, one of them was a tamalada workshop, a culinary, because culinary is an art form. And so we took like a chef, Mariana Nuno Ruiz, to the Valle High School Culinary Arts and she taught them how to make tamales from indigenous recipes and things like that. How amazing is that and such a great impact that you guys have on kids, students in our area and like you mentioned, you know, even further than that. So what do people need to know as they plan their trip uh, tomorrow night? We do want to make sure people know this is on May 4th. It is not on Cinco de Mayo. It's on May 4th, tomorrow, Wednesday uh, at Fair Market. Yeah, correct. And we try to do it clo as close to Cinco de Mayo as possible, but it's always the first Wednesday of May, which lands on very close to Cinco de Mayo. Uh, but yeah, if you get your tickets on we have on the website, on our Instagram, um, whatever your preferred way to follow us, and um, all the details will be on there. It'll be a lot of fun. Who are some of the restaurants that we might see out there tomorrow? Um, I know we have Lichas Cantina, and um, there's a lot of... Uh, talented chefs and food trucks that I feel like sometimes don't get the platform mm -hmm. and people just see them as like a street truck or something but uh, even like our, our Demisa is behind us um, and yeah we want to give a lot of the culinary artists a chance to showcase kind of the more weirder things that won't be on their typical menus. Um, well Jose this is such a special event we're so glad that it's back and Taste of Mexico tomorrow May 4th at Fair Market uh, you can find everything you need to know online and as Jose mentioned there's going to be some food trucks some maybe different spots that you haven't heard of and that's what we're on the quest to do this morning here on Good Day Austin is introduce you guys to some of the tacos that you've maybe never seen before we'll check in with Arte Misa tacos in the next hour of Good Day Austin. They've got something special on the menu that I don't know if you can find anywhere else around town. So you want to stay tuned for that. But Casey, we'll send it back to you for now. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun and for a great cause. Tierra, thank you.